Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm Masisela Ali Khil. This is a message to all of those who have genuinely supported my case. First of all, I introduce myself a bit. I went to school in Kabul and in Vienna. I have completed my Bachelor in International Relations in Budapest. And currently I'm a master student in International Security and Peace and War Studies. I've reached this level of my life with a lot of efforts. I remember when I was at school in Kabul and there was no electricity at night. I studied with the help of candles. And today I can luckily study in one of the most prestigious universities abroad. Because my studies were online due to COVID, I went to visit my parents after a long time in Islamabad. The kidnapping incident happened on the 16th of July. On that day, I wanted to buy a present for my little brother. And because our resident is located in the safest parts of Islamabad, I took a taxi on that day. When I bought the present, I wanted to come back home. And uh, the kidnapping incident happened in uh, this uh, second taxi where the taxi driver uh, entered another man into the taxi. I complained at that time saying that you are not allowed to bring another passenger into the taxi. Uh, the second man who was the kidnapper, he turned his face uh, towards me saying that you are the daughter of the ambassador and he, he used a lot of bad language and he started to beat me. This lasted uh, for about three to five minutes and because I was so scared, I felt unconscious. When I regained my consciousness, I was tortured uh, physically and psychologically and uh, then I was uh, brought uh, home and we went uh, immediately to the hospital where the Pakistani police was also present. They started their investigation right from the first minute. They asked uh, repeated questions and I answered them repeatedly. But uh, my expectation at that point, because I was tortured, my expectation was that the doctors would care more about me at that point. Also, there are very important medical checkups in kidnapping cases. Uh, because uh, I'm sure uh, the kidnappers have used uh, some substances to make me unconscious and uh, that have to be checked uh, in the blood within uh, the first six hours or uh, 12 hours or 18 hours. After that, you cannot check for that in the blood or uh, you have to record the first state uh, of the person who was kidnapped, how the clothes look like, or where the person in the body is injured. All these medical checkups would directly help the uh, police investigations as well. But I'm not sure what the reason was all these significant uh, checkups after a kidnapping case were not uh, done in a complete manner. Even the doctors wanted to know what happened. For example, the OTPD doctor who, whose main uh, uh, responsibility is to check for fractures in the bone. He uh, told me, tell me what happened from the first point to the last point. So uh, I wonder why should uh, an OTPD doctor know uh, when I left home at what time if I took a taxi or a formal car and uh, we have assisted the police uh, right from the first day even if I was in a very bad state I felt very dizzy and my body was hurting we went uh, with the police to look for the uh, place of incident in Islamabad until 3 or uh, 3 and a half a.m. And on the second day and on the third day, we assisted them in the same manner. On the third day, uh, there was an investigation uh, team 
who have repeatedly asked the same questions and we answered them again. Then we went to uh, Turkey where even if it was after uh, three or four days after the incident, all the important medical checkups uh, for a kidnapping case were done in a very uh, complete manner and uh, in my uh, medical report uh, physical and uh, psychological torture is recorded. I'm doing well physically right now but uh, psychologically I would need uh, more time because there is no single night when I don't wake up two to three times in a shock thinking that I'm still lying in that uh, place of incident and I have bad dreams as well. So I would definitely need more time to uh, fully recover. Uh, my request uh, from uh, my own government, the government of Afghanistan, is to follow this uh, uh, case of abduction in which the dignity of a, of a young Afghan girl, her family and the dignity of a nation lies to follow it seriously and uh, my expectation uh, from the Pakistani authorities is to uh, cooperate in an honest manner and uh, to arrest and punish uh, the perpetrators without any further delay. Because this incident happened in broad daylight in the safest parts of Islamabad. At this point, uh, I want to uh, thank you all uh, who have supported uh, this uh, case uh, inside Afghanistan and outside Afghanistan through statements, through demonstrations, uh, social media, and even through writing poems. You have all shown that we Afghans have our own problems in our country. We have a lot of difficulties there. But uh, in uh, such prestigious uh, issues, still uh, we are standing uh, together uh, and we are united. I also uh, uh, wish to thank His Excellency President uh, Ashraf Ghani and uh, the First Lady of Afghanistan. I'm very grateful for their special attention in this regard right from the first day. I hope uh, I can get an opportunity in the future to uh, serve you all, to serve my country through my knowledge because uh, uh, I know that I owe you all a lot. Our resolve in following this issue remains strong and uh, inshallah the truth will uh, prevail and will be shared with you. Thank you once again. Tashakur Dhiramanana.